Greg Turia here with the People Manufacturing, the gearing booth, with my favorite teacher, Kenny. How's it going, man? What's up, brother? See ya. Likewise. So, we found out there's a new gearing machine, and we also want to talk about the original gearing video. So, Kenny, what is this upgraded machine? It's basically the exact same thing that I have. Just they, they freshened it up. They got some new software. They got some new hardware. Um, it works the same way that mine does. Um, I'm here with Kevin, the, uh, the project manager. Hello. And um, I'm just here to see how this one's set up a little different than mine because when I got my vending machine, I realized you could configure this thing any way you want. And so I want to see what they did different here at the show compared to what I have at the shop. What you're used to right now, you have the 17-inch touchscreen. What we decided to do was go to a 21-inch touchscreen, a little bit more protected. It's actually set in deep behind the plastic here. Um, Kenny's machine, you have two doors yep. to open yours up. This is now on a shock system. Ooh. What we tried to do on this one is give it a clean look. Because in the day out, day in environment, our, uh, your mouse, your keyboard are locked up, and right. users are working with everything on the touch screen. So now we have this nice face panel here. Drawers are also a little bit different. You right. have yours, they all have numbers on them. Right. And an item is dispensed from the unit here. Now we have a green light that comes back. Ah, so there's nice. no number system anymore. It's all lights. This drawer has our optional uh, box set on it. So this is really good for your set screws, things of that nature. There. Yeah, this is nice. Stuff won't fall through and roll around in there. Exactly. I mean, set screws, smaller items, they have a tendency to run around, fall. And with this standard style of drawer, you obviously... This is how my drawers are configured. Yep. What do you think about these drawers, Kenny? These drawers are cool. I mean, I haven't seen the boxes before. I have the normal dividers. Do you have any other setups in here? We've got optional drawers that add a little bit more security to your system. This is 48 lockable compartments per drawer here. So when an item is dispensed here, this drawer will unlock. There'll be a green light on that particular compartment. They'll press the white button, be able to open it, retrieve their item. When they close it, this will lock. And then when they close the drawer, it will automatically lock. Nice. What's nice That's about this, secure. Yeah, it's not a one-size-fits-all. Oh, you have different sizes of parts different sizes. Ah. So you can have as many as 48 down to as few as four, but also it, different drawer heights. This is a 100 millimeter drawer. We go down to a 75 millimeter drawer. Wow. We can do a 150 millimeter or a 200 millimeter drawer, even with the lockable compartments in there. Yeah, I remember there was a lot of options for configuring your machine based on what your shop needs are, how big are your tools, what are you putting in here. So we picked a pretty generic way to set up all of our tools. Yep. With the dividers, it can be almost considered an engineered vending solution because we can tailor it to what the customer's looking for. And that's a huge advantage we feel in the market. And the fact that when you buy the machine, you paid for it. You're not paying any yep. other fees after that. We yeah, don't... you worked on the software over here where you have to narrow down which cost center you're at, which perhaps a department, a machine, yeah. and a job, and then that can filter your list down so that way you can't grab anything and everything in here. You just grab what pertains to your job. So okay. it's all a matter of how you set up your software. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. The software component by far is the most unique part of it. We have 30 guys in software development. This is all they do day in and day wow. out. They're not IT guys. They are software guys. It was written in-house by Goering, by Goering people. So you can talk configurations of the machine itself, but it's the software side. The way you can allocate things, the way you can really find your tool costs are going. It can be as simple as a basic inventory management system. When your item is up for reorder, it'll alert you to that. It can be as complex as what you think might be complex by allocating parts, allocating items to machines, you name it. We always tell customers it can be as complex as what you might think it is, but it's very simple for us. And even keeping that in all mind, it's a very simple interface for a user. It is, it's really easy you know, to use. You can, as far as I know, the way I have mine set up, I can search anything from brand to size, yep. uh, any part of that designation, and it will bring up anything that contains that information. Yeah, 
it, did, it made it the easy button for the new employees. Uh, you know, it's like, so walking into it and then just have four minutes with Kenny. So what, what gets you fired up about this trade that might fire up a young person? Everything's different. Every day is different. It's not the same thing. Um, I have a great advantage. I go to a lot of shops, even when I was on the cutting tool side of things. And every day is different. Every day can be a different challenge, but every day you can find a different solution. And Amen. that's probably the most exciting part about it. Uh, it is really a great industry. Yep. <laughs> For more information about our apprenticeship program or our web series, visit us at thepeoplemanufacturing.com and like us on all our social media to stay up to date on our new exciting content. Thank you for watching. See you soon.